So this is the Thai National Monument. We're in Thailand, guys. Of democracy, right? Of democracy. It's very, very early right now. The sun hasn't even come up yet, and we're on our way to the temple. We're gonna go see John's uncle, Gary, Piku Gary, uh, who is becoming a monk. He's gonna be disrobed soon, right guys? Yep, this Monday. Awesome, this is Lena, John's cousin. Jesse, John's cousin in the front. <laughs> They'll be guesting in a lot of our vlogs while we're here in Thailand. <laughs> Yay. As long as that's okay with you guys. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yay! Isn't this beautiful? This is an amazing experience. Yeah, it's strange, like fun because like, you get a lot of feelings and energy. And, yeah. I don't know, it has like a, this profound effect on me to be where my uncle has lived for a really long time just experiencing this. It's, mm -hmm. it's cool and we had a, lot, like, a couple of cool things happen with the monks going by this morning and they were talking to us which um, is like uh, they the said ordinary, that doesn't yeah, they happen they decide to, usually. They will, but yeah, so it was, I don't know. This is this is pretty cool. Mm -hmm. so this is the front of the temple. But yeah, there were a couple times just standing in the temple and talking to the monks out there where I almost started crying. It's yeah, you just it, I don't really know how to describe it, but you just start feeling all this energy, and it just feels really powerful. And I think that's why you start to tear up because. Uh, you're just overwhelmed with the this powerful feeling that it surrounds this place. So we just meditated in this temple here for a little while. So in the mornings, people make offerings to the monks, and that's what we came and did this morning. Um, they come out before the sun comes up, and you give food, and they collect food in uh, these pots. So that was really cool to do. And then uh, since John's uncle is a monk, we were able to sit and watch the monks eat. And then the friends and family of the monks get to eat what the monks don't eat, the leftovers. So that was really nice. We were able to try lots of different Thai food. I just saw a turtle. It was delicious. You saw a turtle? Yeah. I love turtles. <laughs> gigantic so we are walking down Kaus Han market gonna browse a little bit and then head back to the temple and do more touristy things today yeah this is like I don't know it's so cool it, to see my uncle kind of in his element doing his thing here and his master is like his pun pun I don't, pun I don't remember the pun, name I don't want to say it's wrong but the word for master in Thai is I like, use just such a nice wonderful spirit and you gave us so much information just yeah, about so the temple we, and so we got a little bit of a private tour which yeah. is kind of special yesterday for he did the to same tour for, for 175 people which and he doesn't do them a lot so yeah it was, it was really a personalized experience it was amazing so here there's lots of little stands where you can shop and yeah I want to buy some souvenirs <laughs> oh those are cool oh I wanted to get Iris a tie outfit oh, yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. Oh wow, look at all this stuff. So we just learned a lot about Buddhism during a tour, and which was just so cool. And the monks are having lunch right now, and we're browsing around the market, and when they're done with lunch, we're gonna get to talk about Dhamma. So I just got a Thai energy drink. It's by Red Bull, and it's called Extreme Fun Red Bull Center. Red was invented in Thailand. Oh, was it really? Yeah. I did not know that. Look at John, Mr. Tour Guide over here. That guy became like one of the richest people in Thailand after he made it, right? Yep. Oh, really? Yeah. So I asked, I asked Jesse, I'm like, is it still going to be strong enough? Because it's in such a small can. And she said, honestly, only truckers drink Red Bull in Thailand. <laughs> That's and I'm like, the truth. Okay, that sounds perfect. Sounds like what I need right now. <laughs> Get it, Nikki. Yes. <laughs> yes, I think I need an anklet. Look how beautiful these are. Maybe I'll get one with the elephant. Wow. I just got this pretty turtle anklet to remember the turtles and the elephants too, because elephants are like Thailand. Thank you. I don't know why I'm thanking you. 
<laughs> because you have the money in your wallet. Thanks for the gift, John. <laughs> Hello. Look how big you are. <laughs> there he goes. Yes, we are in a tuk-tuk. We're about to take a famous tuk-tuk ride. It's kind of like a three-wheel taxi, I guess. A bike type thing? What do you what do you think she's saying? Um, I'm surprised you're Thai. No, they're from the same village as my mom. Oh, oh really? Yeah, in um Northeast Thailand. Oh cool. <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. This is what's protecting me from death. Certain. <laughs> yeah. What do you think? You're in a tuk-tuk in Thailand. I hope this thing pops a wheelie. <laughs> If you guys are wondering why I'm wearing long sleeve, a long sleeve black shirt, it's because when you go to the temple, you're supposed to look modest. Well, you have and, to, and you want to be respectful. Of and yes, we're being respectful the of, the of the king. Uh, yes. So the the king of Thailand passed away a couple months ago, and he's very, very beloved in this country. And uh, John's aunt was saying we should wear black because uh, the country is in mourning. So this is the Grand Palace of Thailand. As you can see, there's a long, long line of people going in, but you can kind of see it. The buildings are so cool here, huh? Take a picture. <laughs> oh no, not right now. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, the, it's a cool um, decoration and design and architecture. Just so cool to be in a different place. So this is Rama IV, he was a king of Thailand, and this is his monument where people bring offerings to him. And here's a memorial to the king, we see these all over the city here. Lots of flowers. Here's another memorial. Another memorial to the king. So we are at the Temple of the Reclining Buddha. Everything is so beautiful here. It's, uh, the detail is so amazing. Look at this over here, wow. The detail and everything. It's actually kind of amazing how much stuff we see and how much ground we cover. You know, we in each city, we're only there for a couple days, so we never stop moving. It's, we go on these power tours, we're like, okay, this place, this place, now we gotta go to this place. And uh, we've seen a lot, nowhere near everything. There's, you know, it's just not enough time to see everything that you should see in Thailand. So hopefully we'll be back someday. We are falling in love with every city that we go to. So beautiful. Oh wow, this is amazing. So look at all the Buddhas going all around. Wow. Kitty, 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 kitty. Meow. What you guys doing? We're about to go up to the temple. Did you find another cat? No. No? <laughs> you did though. Yeah, <laughs> but I didn't know if you found another one over here because oh. you guys were like looking down. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Wow, I'm like in awe at how beautiful everything is. There's another cat. Meow. So you may notice a pattern of seeing cats and different animals at Buddhist temples. Now I just love this. In the Buddhist religion there's a respect for all life. So they don't chase the cats away from the temples, they feed the turtles, they put the food out for the turtles because um, they're, they're giving back to, to life on this planet and yeah so there's just there's animals everywhere and it's so amazing. Look these are called stupas or these the stupas, it's absolutely beautiful. So this is where the reclining Buddha is. You need to take off your shoes and if you wear a dress or shorts or anything, they give you pants to cover up your legs or a robe because you need to dress appropriately when you're in a temple. So this is the reclining Buddha. He is gigantic. 
That is so crazy. We all crashed so hard. Yeah. Everyone took a big nap. Yeah, well, everybody too, yeah. because um, we were all we we're all out last night. Well, well right. together, but, in there, but we woke up at 4 a.m. too yeah. to experience everything today. Mm -hmm. So John's cousins are all sleeping still, but we came out with John's aunt to a local Thai restaurant, and we're getting some food, get to try some stuff. Which Thai food is my absolute favorite. So it's much better in Thailand. Right, right. So I, I, I'm loving it though. So this morning, when we ate with the monks, I had this interesting food. Um, it was a breakfast food. It was a fried egg in a sweet sauce, but the egg was still a little runny inside. It was boiled and then fried. Boiled and fried, and it had a sweet sauce. Did you say that? Sorry, no, no, no. So I don't think I did. <laughs> so dark. I don't think I, I said boiled yeah. first, but. It was just absolutely delicious. You know, in America, we would never really think to put sweet with eggs, and it was just so good. I was like, wow, this is really good. So what we have here tonight is some green curry and chicken with cashews to try. And this is John's aunt. I don't know if I, I fully introduced phone yet. Hello. Should we dig in? And this green curry is for Nikki. This and you can see the peppers on it. In like two and a half minutes. I know, we're always surprised. Order, it was like, they left and came back with it. <laughs> mm -hmm, the food comes out fast. Mm -hmm. But I like my stuff spicy, so I got some green peppers and, or I'm sorry, red peppers to make my green curry spicier. Oh, nothing to see here. Just a cat in a dress sitting on a chair in Thailand. <laughs> Hi, kitty. John. You want to be a part of the ending? Oh. He's out already. Too tired. Yeah, we were going to go to the market tonight and we're just all so exhausted. And John's cousins are still sleeping. They never woke up from their nap. <laughs> yeah, they're like, we'll be ready to go at 9. It's yeah. like 10.30, everyone's still sleeping. But we thought that it would probably be better to get a good night's, get a good sleep, night's sleep and just try to do go everything all day tomorrow. tomorrow. We did so much today and, and almost virtually zero right. amount of sleep. So it's... I think it's important for us just to recharge our batteries and then get back at it versus trying to go out all night and then miss a lot of tomorrow. So Yeah, so tomorrow we're going to go to the floating markets and do a bunch of other stuff and it should be really, really fun. But this is where we're staying. We're staying at John's aunt's house um, or John's aunt and uncle's house, but his uncle is away becoming a monk mm -hmm. and um yeah this is our room we got a nice guest room down here and then tomorrow we're going to stay in a hotel yep yeah yep so, so thanks for watching guys yeah, please don't for forget to helping us and yeah we will be doing another wish in tomorrow's vlog yes for bangkok it'll be our our second wish that we'll be doing on the trip and then we'll do a third one in tokyo and then we'll do some more um after that when we get back yeah, we'll, so yeah we'll keep tuned. doing more. Um, and so a couple people have asked what how the wishing process works and what happens is we just we basically like fly through all the profiles. Uh, we stop, we pick one, we pick a wish to grant for you, we follow you, we'll send you a message through the app on your wish or just a comment. If yeah. you haven't, download the app, follow us, they uh, make a... some wishes and your wish might come true. Learned a lot about Buddhism today and the Dhamma, which is the light, the 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 understanding of like this your path, spiritual your path. path and life and journey, and like it's so crazy that we're here, yeah, and experiencing well, like this well, Gary, amazing place with our family, and it's all thanks to you guys. All thanks to you guys. Yeah. And Gary was saying, um, Piku Gary, he was saying that he really thinks it was meant to be that yeah. uh, we won this contest, and then we just happened to be in Thailand while he was becoming a monk, and we were able to see yeah. this, uh, the the beautiful process of uh, what happens, and it was it, it it was really something special to be able to experience that. You know, not everyone gets a tour of the temple from a monk, and um, yeah, that's we, like a really actually like a a blessing. Yeah, you it was a blessing. Fortunate to be able. to to have that opportunity mm -hmm. and we we talked spirituality with him and we're we were able to ask questions and uh mm -hmm. him and his what what was the what do they call him again the i'm not even gonna say it on camera because i don't know how <laughs> like yeah he's his just teacher his, his master yeah he's, he's a senior 
monk at the temple. It's like a pon ponti or something or no ponti. Mm. I'm not pronouncing it right, but it's something of that sort. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. We are exhausted. Need to get some sleep. sleep. Yeah. <laughs> Please give this video a thumbs up. Leave a comment. Subscribe. And always remember that I love you and stay tuned for more vlogs. Mwah. London Tower Bridge, ladies and gents. Yeah. It was like <laughs> this is so awesome. I'm just like on cloud nine. Yeah, right that's a beautiful skyline too off in the distance yonder. Ooh. So you used to not be able to cross this bridge? No. Um, 